in his match to qualify. Yeah. But. He, he, made a, he made two big comebacks because he had yeah. to do one against Lushi, yeah. right? And then he had to do another one against uh, his uh, next opponent, who I don't know what to make it on my name right now. <laughs> Is everything okay? But yeah, it looks like I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we can, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Let it rock. So yeah, we're finally getting it started. So let's talk about it, right? So, so Beta Dude, no the main character. to both of these guys. Red versus blue. <laughs> yeah, it's actually kind of poetic, actually. I didn't even like see that at first. <laughs> SCR BB Tag Champ. SCR BB left. Tag Champ Jonah and then versus Beta Dude, Texas boy, but not just Texas boy. Yep. Considered to be the main character of Blaze Blue for yep. a myriad of reasons, right? Like he plays Ragna, main see character. See how he dresses. <laughs> he looks like he, Ragna. He dresses, and the headset complements it perfect, the red and black. This is tournament was made for him, but he has a long road ahead of him. Jonah from Cali. He's, he's on a hot streak right now, right? Yeah. Like he's just hot off his win at SCR. He's always been one of the stronger players in Blaze Blue. Albeit, so has Beta Dude, however. Yeah, that's right. And that's why these four people in the winner's side have basically been always on a tear and meet each other all the time. Because the opposite end, like, you know, we'll see the next two later on. So, but yeah, actually. Beta Dude sticking to Ragna forever. Uh, will no, never betray his mans, and he's doing the best he can. And then you have Jonah, who does have two characters. Yeah. He does have a squad, but he always tries to fill it out. Well, he'll fill it out with Valkenhayn first. Well, it depends on the matchup, right? Valkenhayn yeah. uh, may not try to fight Izanami with Valkenhayn. He might try to, he's gonna go to Mai more than likely. Okay, OD early. He was maybe trying to catch a 6B from Ragna, which if you OD through 6B, it's a straight punish, right? But Beta oh. Dude, a season player, right? Not gonna challenge too hard. Nice barrier on that launch, avoiding it. But now, oh, wow, he, nice block he on the block, break the A. So, I mean, he's doing a good job. He waited out all that wolf meter. He used a lot of barrier to do it, but I think it's kind of an even trade. Because look, yeah. they're both regaining at about the same rate. Yep. And look at me, Jonah's barrier is really low as well. So they're kind of like in the same situation there. It's better to waste that meter than really have to deal with the mix up. Oh, oh getting oh, hit by go. the gauntlet Hades. Everybody gets hit by one. Let's be honest. Everybody gets hit by one. <laughs> That's good. He used it early on. It's in his head now. He showed Jonah, I'm not afraid to use it with the meter. You know, yeah. we'll see what the extended pressure is, but okay. Yeah, extended pressure is the right word, right? Because Ragnar doesn't exactly have the strongest mix-up game, kind of like Valkenhayn. Valkenhayn yeah. is an incredible mix-up game. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, caught the no-tech right with the jump C, and oh my god, he, oh he actually blocked god. it. I saw him stand up. I saw he him stand stood, up. blocked down, and again, the wolf has been tamed, but you can only do so for so long. Yeah, what can you do when your main tool of getting damage is kind of shut out in terms of mix-up, right? He's got to get it in the neutral game, he's, so that's why you see him backing off. He's trying to force Beta Dude into that situation he did right there. Unfortunately, he dropped him, but he got a counter hit. There we there. go, RC. Takes it. Beta Dude getting his first back eventually, but okay. Gets that big DP. To yeah. Inferno Divider, our season makes it safe. Now he's yeah. chilling, but oh, got hit by the Wolf Cannon. No full conversion, unfortunately, missing okay. the Wolf Jump A. Finally finds the break he needs. Wait, there's seven seconds left on the clock. Are you serious? Just back there. Yeah, he's just like, out of here. He's like, I'm good. We're gone, homie. Yep. Time him out. Yeah. Up to the moon, and he's keeping the clock. He's Beta Dude is doing everything in his power. Oh, he's out of barrier. Oh, oh my god. My god. He that was actually do best. doable because he was out of barrier. So when you're out of barrier and you're going to danger state, you take extra damage. Yeah. If he got a single hit while in overdrive, he actually legitimately might have been able to take it. Beta Dude with that just realizing I can make this happen. Most people do like a desperation burst. That was like the desperation overdrive. Yeah, well, I mean, I, it, it was actually not a terrible choice. Oh, he's, he's gonna get the safe jump here, so he's got him in the corner. Yeah, remember, extended pressure, right? Doesn't have the strongest mix-up, but he can there throw a bait you for sure. It's, it's consistent damage, it's knocked down. It's a situation where it's hard to, you know, tech against. You don't want to tech forward, you gotta kind of sit and wait it out, but eventually, it's fine. You can yeah. only you only deal with Stan B so many times. Good confirm right there from Beta Dude keeping Jonah in the corner. He is looking real strong okay. this round. But now that the wolf is out and he has enough wolf meter to possibly mix up, this could end up very bad. Oh, but look at that defense. Beta Dude blocks it out. He's not gonna get. A but he doesn't have that wolf meter because of the wolf meter. Exactly. So the payoff is really nice. Yeah, that's actually pretty okay for Beta Dude. I think he'll take that to the bank and back. Yeah. All right, here we go. Running away, trying to build up that gauge oh, back. Oh, counter hit right there. That's huge. God. I don't think you would burst nah. if you are with Jonah, but. He ain't playing that game. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he accepts his fate. Getting sice. So, Beta Straight Dude, 90% of his burst back. 
it's all coming back to him right yep. now. He played that round out emphatically. All he needed to do was get in there just Doobie. like that. Playing the footsies with those parachute pants. We, yeah, I was gonna. I was about to say we're probably gonna see a momentum burst from Jonah because it's very important for Wolf to get out of there, yeah. so he can set up his offense. There he it is. finally got oh, it, but he was out not, of Wolf yep. meter again. That's Beta dude, part. all he needs to do is just defend until Wolf is out, and that's exactly what he's done and almost he's every game. Oh, the cross up divider, the cross up inferno divider. Be it like ancient SKD. Oh my God, the blocks. Okay, finally, finally, finally. This open, man's defense. Open. But again, it's no payout because of just that lack of wolf cape. Oh, okay, double there overhead, there's the burst. Yeah, that's one of the classics right there for a human mix up on Balkan. He's gonna be able to get the jump C, which allows for this to double dash right that's here. Yeah. That's a good whip punish too with the air dash. That was a good Mario Kart combo. And now you gotta sit here and now we're gonna hold a little mix up there. Overhead, that should be the round as Beta Dude's gonna shoot. He finishes it here. Yeah, he's gonna take the first game here All with right. the carnage scissors. Oh game my goodness. One. The, the, I cannot overstate the defense. I cannot overstate Beta Dude's defense and how important it was against Valk right there. He could not get started. And not only could he not get started, he lost access to literally half of his character because he kept being unable to be a wolf. Yes. When you he, can't be a wolf, you have you you just you're just out of a f half your character, basically. And it's like that is really all. I wouldn't say all Valkenheim has, but it's just like that's so big a part of it. And oh, here we go. Yeah, nice conversion off of that. Had to do the Gauntlet Hades conversion because of how high it up. And I mean, obviously, it does extra damage, right? Yeah. Okay, tried to Ooh. catch the no attack. Wow, wake up 2C! attack, okay. What a man! The <laughs> momentum burst back, but okay, slips under the 2B. Let's see how well he can block again. Yeah, so far, okay. so good in there. First time going for the Inferno Divider option. Yeah, well, you know, blocking that it. option is very important, right? Because there's two things going on there. He can't block while he's in yeah. wolf state, for one. And if he tries to transform, there's still frames where he cannot block because he's transforming. Yes. So the divider there was definitely the right call. And he showed that twice. And he has to show it because that's always an idea. That's something that Jonah is going to be like, if he's not going to do this, you make it pay out. But finally gets a hit. A little bit of wolf game, but enough in the corner that he's going to get, some, you know, better damage than normal. Oh, and there the it, break. Ja, it was a counter hit, so maybe a messed up DP by Beta Dude, but whatever the case may be, he's going to go down around here in the second game because of it. All right, that's bringing back his composure, closing out a round and trying to match it up. Because, again, this is still two out of three being winner semifinals, so uh -huh. every round counts. Yeah, you're definitely right about composure. It can be so hard once somebody has, like, defense that Whoa. feels uncrackable yeah. sometimes, right? You get incredibly angry about the fact that they just will not stop. They won't falter. Gonna fall through this nice little overhead. Regular overhead too. We're not, we're not wolf breaking. We're just getting a clean hit here and there. Okay. Oh, okay. nice sense to block though. That Wolf's was a, out, but oh. oh, there's the 5A. He actually not only waited it out, he got the corner for himself right afterwards. Pay to do. Okay, Sorry, nice tech from Jonah. Yep. There we go. And he's out of there, but the chase down. Okay, I like that marrying the 5A, 5A. Oh, oh that's Gauntlet the classic. Hades. So Gauntlet Woo. Hades was very strong against Arakune in every ma like every game, right? You, and, and especially this one, because normally he exudes that area that Jonah was in. So he he just called it so well. However, Jonah, he's back in there right now, getting a grip of damage on Beta Dude. He's still got half his little wolf meter at there the floor descended. Great, he's found the gap. Punished Jonah for going for the slide, and now oh, double low, and that should be the burst. Yeah, that RC mix-up can be so terrifying sometimes, not knowing whether or not he's going to go high or low off that. All right, 100 meter, what's he got? Oh, he, he got, got, got. That's what happened. I don't know if he was trying to jump out, backdash, yeah. or what, but that's going to be a game for Jonah for sure. Mm -hmm. There you was know, no explanation point because it was a mid, Yeah. so it, I can't tell you. <laughs> hey, you, like I said, you could only block for so long. Being put in that situation so many times. Mm -hmm. So it's one just to needs one. that good hit here. He hasn't opted for a grab option either. Just you know, more so just like the 50-50. Oh, overhead is human overhead. Yeah, you got to remember that he has that human overhead option now. I mean, you know, there was numerous games where he didn't, but he's got it now. Great cross up. Put him in the corner here with some e. Okay. Trying to catch any roll forward here with that 2A. Okay. No instant block on the dead spike. One yeah. thing that you really got to understand about blocking Ragnar in the corner is if he dead spikes, you have to instant block it because if he runs forward after dead spike, you can free 5A him as a okay. punish because he's doing a run for him. Oh, oh, that's a big God, counter that's hit, and that's, that's huge. gonna be this round right here. Wolf cannon. And he has the full gauge from okay. the wolf, yep. I that's, just wanted to make sure he didn't drop it, you know. <laughs> this is what Jonah wants to do. That's why he hopes to have that wolf gauge on those good confirms. That way he can maximize his output, and now here we go. Okay, got the Drops low right low. Here we, woo, party time. Gonna go into corner here. Jonah's definitely woken up, for sure. 
and it a dropped lot, a lot of these wolf, wolf combos yeah. uh, uh, in the first game, right? And so now it's showing that like once he hits them, things go very far in his favor in terms of momentum. Yeah, He's gonna have to get Wolf Gauge back right here. Nice safe jump. Every jump like low, that. but he, he got went the block. Low, but good block. Made a dude showing here. All right, they got enough Wolf Gauge back to cause the pressure in. Transform midair goes low. It's gonna be solid. Next hit from Jonah. It's gonna be a guessing game here. Okay, he's OD. Overdrive, and that's a wrap. That should do Beta it right here. Is going down. Jonah has made his place into the winners' finals of CL Taku 2018. I mean, it's either one of those person uh, people. I would have said, yeah, they'd be in winners' finals. So I, I can see it. Yeah. Uh, pretty much everybody in this top eight is like expected. It's a quote contender. Unquote, I know, right? right? Like, but Mioro making like an online to offline debut and a strong showing here.